Hello everybody and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in again and we are on a mission to try and actually play this game well because I'm not very good at that and I want to get better at it. So I think we're going to go as... Let's go as horror. Uh, I like horror for the extra mutations and stuff. Um, and what do we want to go for to start with? Let's go with the Golden Flamethrower. I like to have it on random sometimes but Golden Flamethrower is... Really, really good. And we're taking Crown of Inversion, as we've been doing recently, because Crown of Inversion just allows us to more easily... Um, to a bit more easily start things off with some good stuff, because we can get extra rads as well as some mutations. I can't believe I just walked into that scorpion there. That was very stupid of me. I'm going to go through here first. Um, and our extra mutations here. So, as we were kind of saying, we want to be going for stuff that's going to be... Um, it's going to be beneficial to us in the long run. Nerves of Steel is an interesting one. It's not one that I use very often, but it is very good. Tough Shell, though, is, um, is one that I think has helped us out a ton in the past, and we probably should take. I will come back to you, Skull. Ooh, I didn't I didn't mean to pop the Skull there. Yeah, that that was all sorts of bad. I, I meant to pick up the Flame Revolver and accidentally press the Skull. I wasn't even remotely ready for the, the dude to spawn, so I just kind of ate poo-poo pretty much immediately uh not not my ideal set of circumstances there i'll be honest go straight through here again um scarier face might be a good choice here if not get anything too defensive so i think taking some good offense at the start in fact i don't even know how scarier face works against uh like using a flamethrower here it might be really good if it's upping damage of like small damage projectiles sort of thing it's not a projectile but I guess it works, right? Yeah, no no through there, please. Yeah, don't do the same again to me, thank you. Ooh, we got a divey bird this time. Not the bird we like. We like the gunner bird. Okay, we are all out of ammo right now, so... I was just going to say, let's hope we get some. I was going to say, how are you not dead yet? Um, I'm going to take the shotgun rather than that, because I think um, it's going to be more beneficial to us. There was another enemy around here somewhere, but I've lost him. Right, through we go. Doing reasonably well so far. And I'll probably take Strong Spirit here. That's something that I don't take anywhere near enough. It would be nice to get some shotgun shoulders going on with this. You know what would be really nice, though? Having any amount of HP. Okay, luckily the game is on my side with that and gave me a numerous amount. I see you there, Sharky. I see you there. I didn't realize my beam color changed. Right. Let's not die here because we're doing well so far. Unfortunately, I don't think we got an inverted area here, which is a bit... Oh, no, we did. We did. Awesome. Electro gun. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, in fact, eh, flamethrower and electro gun's better. And there was another gun over here I want to check out. What was that? Grenade strike launcher. Zero quality. Ah, it's that one. Okay, I have used that before. I wasn't quite sure what that was to start with there. Okay, cool. We got some good stuff. We'll uh, grab this for the Electro Gun. And we do get to choose a mutation here. So this is kind of a tricky one. Uh, so right now we have Scarier Face plus Strong Spirit. It's kind of a tricky one when you've got, like, the choice of everything. What do you go for? Because, like, right now, uh, Mood Swing would be a pretty good one because we've got Electric and Fire in our arsenal. Um, but it's it's not it's not the best of the best for us right now, I don't think. Um, hmm. It's a tricky one, I tell you. I mean, Tough Shell is another good one to just take just for that survivability. Being able to guarantee that would be rather nice. Eagle Eyes is always really, really, really good. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Eagle Eyes. I just think Eagle Eyes is one of those mutations that can benefit you so much. I mean, the thing is as well here, because we got a uh, inverted area, we are getting two choices. I'm a little bit worried about surviving this area because the boss is pretty difficult. But I have faith. Although not much faith. Okay, we did it. We managed to survive at least for now. We got weapon drop on this. I guess we'll go for it. Not the best mutation ever, but it'll do for now. And then you down there. 
Oh, we got a special chest here. Seeker pistol. We did get the dead glove, which I still don't really know what the dead glove does. Um, do we want a seeker pistol? Let's, let's take the seeker. Yeah, let's go for it. And we get another choose our own mutation here. So now, now I'm really not sure what to take as our next mutation, I'll be honest. Okay, good. The electro gun is, is doing amazing work right now. I don't think I've ever seen it be so good. I do wonder how good it is with, um, with the strong brain or whatever the hell it's called. Okay, that was a, that was a little bit rude. I might die here if I'm not careful. I mean, I've got strong spirits. So I won't die, die, but I need to be a bit wary. I'll put freeze on that. Yeah, let's not with you, thank you. And I'd like the ammo and the weapon chest, thank you. Toxic thrower, no thank you. Okay, a little bit not great there. Now, this is where things get tricky. Do we do we go whole hog into the um electro gun and take what's it called the the brain energy brain It's an interesting idea because I think it would be kind of good it is an energy weapon although it's an electric weapon but it uses energy ammo so I think it is still an energy weapon and it could be pretty darn good for us I'm going to give it a go it's not the usual that I'd take but I'm going to give it a go. We also got like an up arrow then, where on our frost thing. I'm not quite sure what that was for. Ooh, the frost is nice. All right, let's be careful here. We've got, only got one HP, so... Try those extra rads real quick. Right, let's see if we can keep surviving here. I'm not particularly confident right now going into a thingy stage. Okay, that is definitely doing something. The electric seems bigger. Dude! No way that guy survived an electric shock like that. Can you see how, like, the lightning, uh, like, arc is huge? Damn it. As if I died there. That was a really bad death. Okay, well, that was, that was a fun start, but I kind of messed up by forgetting. I, I feel like that's one of my biggest reasons I die, especially on inverted floors. I just can't remember what all the enemies do. Like, I don't know how, because, like, I've been playing Isaac Finfolia, admittedly for longer, but I've been playing Isaac Finfolia. That has about a billion enemies, and I never forget. But when it comes to this game, I don't know, just my brain draws a blank. Um... Enriched Metabolism... I don't take Enriched Metabolism very often. Let's go with that. It's not as good as it used to be. It used to be every three hits, and then it got... It used to be four, then it was, and then it was three, and now it's back to four again. Heavy Sledgehammer I think I'll take here. I think that could be quite good. Ooh, dude. The reload speed on that is uh, not great. Dude. Why am I so silly? Why am I so silly? Okay. Unless you've got, um, what's it called? Uh, trigger fingers. A melee weapon like that is literally pointless. That That is so abysmally slow that it's never worthwhile. This, though, this is, this is my jam right here. This weapon is my jam. I could, I could make a build completely surrounding this weapon if I wanted to. Tails end, the whole lot. It would be quite fun. Okay. Let's use our flamethrower first to get some initial damage going. And then from a distance we can pick off a few shots. We got the lance. I'll take the lance. Lance is a decent melee weapon. I need to embrace melee more often. Right, so I think here we go with strong spirit. Um, and then here, I could go with long arms. I think long arms would not be a bad shout right now. Right, let's try and take out the skulls first. That, that trigon gun's pretty good. Let's 
What, what the hell is that? A bouncer assault rifle. That could be better. Okay. This guy shouldn't be too bad. Only when he spawns stuff is he going to be annoying. Or when he does that. It's also rather annoying. But we got the range on him that means it shouldn't really matter. Although the damage we're outputting right now is not great. Okay, not too bad. We didn't get an inverted area here, though, unfortunately, by the looks of it. Oh, no, we did. We did. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Inverted area shall help us very nicely. Oh, that is... That is beautiful, that is. What's with all the maggots, man? Why the stage had so many maggots? Ooh, dude, 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 I don't... No, okay, fighting this guy with melee is trash. Unfortunately, I do think I, there's a good chance I die here. There's just so many enemies and a lot going on. And the maggots, and we're only on one HP. Okay, that helps. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it was coming. God damn, I'm so bad at this game. I hate it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I feel like sometimes I play it so well, and other times I'm just terrible at it. Like, am I just making really, really bad mutation and weapon choices, like, all the time? Are you guys like, what, what on earth are you doing? This is idiotic. Like, what? By your assessment, what the hell am I doing so wrong? <laughs> Or is it just me being bad and, like, walking into things? I think that's probably more the case. I just walk into projectiles I shouldn't walk into. Frost ice. Yes, thank you. Okay, can this guy, little dude, get out the way here so he's not getting in the middle of all of this? Okay, okay, okay. Right. What should I take here? Flexible elbows I don't really take very often, but that could be good. Let's give that a go. Um, Nothing amazing here. Let's go with Gamma Guts. That's another defensive one that I don't take very often. Just teleport everything away from me. There you are, big boy. I don't know where you've gone. Okay, but you're still there. Oh, but I'm gone now. Dude, the, the, the slap is actually doing a lot more damage than I thought. I wouldn't expect it to be one-shotting even the smaller enemies. And it does, which is nice. Where have you gone again? There you go. Finally dead. Did get in the inverted area once again, which is nice. Wait, do, do gravestones... Okay, gravestones have enemies in them. I did not know that. <laughs> Probably a bit of information I should have. Uh, excuse me? Where's my thing? Where's my little altar? Did I completely miss it over here? Ah, it's right down here. I completely missed it. Okay. That's cool. Okay, we've got a freeze weapon here. Let's keep our distance. Dude, honestly, flexible elbows I have been underrating. It is going off like crazy, and it's killing enemies, the small ones at least, in a single hit. Dude, why am I out of ammo so often? Dude, you can't just spawn him on me. Come on now. Oh, I'm so dead again. I'm so dead again. What have I done here? I'm constantly out of ammo! Dude, the, thank god I had the contact damage removal thingy there, because oh my god, I would have been so dead if I didn't. Dude, these guys fire way too much maggots. You need to stop with the maggots. I like the idea of an auto bullet shotgun, thank you. Tier 8 seems really good to me. I will take that as well. My goodness! That was not easy. <laughs> that was not easy. I think I'll take eagle eyes here. 
because I've got this bullet shotgun thing. Dude, I just killed an enemy like through a wall that was miles away. Dude, this thing's amazing. Oh my god. With the eagle eyes herming plus the actual accuracy, this thing's... I mean, it is tier 8. It kind of should be amazing for what how far we are into the game right now. But god damn. I mean, the ammo consumption's pretty, pretty heavy though. And we got the Ion Bomb. Eh, I'm not too interested in the Ion Bomb right now, especially they're being cursed. Right, so. This is a bit of a tricky one, because do I go safety or do I go ammo? Because we could just go with, um, what's it called? The the bullet, the one that gives us bullets back, whatever the hell that is. What's, what's that one called again? There you go. We could go with Recycle Gland. I don't know, hit, hit bullets deal splash damage as well. I think it's worth it. Just this gun's really good right now. And to be fair, there's so many bullet weapons that are still good later that I feel like it's worthwhile. Dude, honestly, this is... I can't believe how underrated Flexible Elbows has been for me. It's 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 killing some of these enemies that I did not think it would kill. Dude, you can't be firing explosives at me. That's it's just rude. Okay, this is gross. Yeah, that was not okay. Also, the mini-missiles still have a major grievance with the mini-missiles. Double morph? I don't even know if double morph does anything. Just morph at uh, a different health threshold, maybe? I don't know. Cool. Um... Could go with Puffy Cheeks. Oh, well, Last Wish. Last Wish is another defensive one I don't really take enough. That was a bad hit. We are sheeping up every time. It's beautiful. Do you know what would be an interesting thing? It might be a little overpowered, so don't. this isn't something that has to be done. But maybe turning things into sheep should stop them from doing their on-death effect. Because they don't die. They turn to sheep. But that might make uh, that make, might make Morph a bit too powerful, so I would understand why. That isn't the case. Also, walking into sheep kills them now. That's something that didn't used to happen before. That's new. Okay. Rhino skin, I think, is the obvious choice here. Even scarier face could be good, but I think Rhino skin right now is good. Double laser, yes please. I really like the double laser gun, especially with the accuracy increase to make it basically one single laser. And I'll go inverted here as well. Lightning or frost? Probably frost. Frost is defensive. And we like defensive. Cool. Can I just go through here instead of walking all the way back? I can't, can't I? Whoa! What are you? Excess damage spawns a ghost. The ghost explodes, dealing half of the excess damage. Can damage anyone. That sounds intriguing. Sounds very intriguing. Probably going to get me killed, but... Although so far I'm not... Oh, dude, 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 what? That thing fires out fire and electric? I thought it was one or the other. That was a very near death there. Any improvements here? Um, electro rifle? Yeah, I'll take the electro rifle. Got 
the flower there as well. I don't really take the flower path that often. I'm not seeing any of these, these so-called ghosts. Maybe I'm not dealing enough excess damage or something? I don't know. I don't know. I'm missing my inverted crown already. Bring the sheep home, why not? Um let's got a strong spirit here. Ah, oh, I brought it home and then I killed it. I'm a monster. Alright, let's try and find a decent way to navigate the stage without dying. What way was this? Eat mushroom? Hell yeah. I don't know what eating the mushroom does, but I've done it. I've probably done it before, I just don't remember, so... We'll see what... No! I didn't mean to go through there, goddammit. Um, for discovering bandit land. Whoa, what is this? Okay, so this is something that I've never done before. This is just... Yeah, this is just like every single type of bandit all mashed into one stage. That's pretty funny. I like it. Only a morph gun guaranteed here. I mean, it's only level two, which is kind of poo, but... Cool, that was interesting. <laughs> That's something I haven't seen before. Uh, impact wrists is really good for looping, so I'll grab that. Um, okay, that was the ghost. <laughs> that was one of those ghosts. I was like, what the hell's that thing? I hadn't seen one up until now. Okay, can can I can I stop knocking this guy out of the stage, please? There you go. Maybe I'm not doing the excess damage because I'm getting uh because I'm spawning sheep, maybe? Is that is that why? Auto splinter gun. Pretty saucy, but I, I'm 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 more tempted by this. I think this could be good, even though I've not used it yet. But ignore ignore that. Just don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay, so the ghosts kind of home in on enemies. I see. I don't know how that's going to end up being for um for looping. Seems like it could be really really bad. Oh, dude, the Hermin to me as well. Okay, I knew they could deal damage to me. I didn't think they'd Hermin on me. This is uh. This is bad. This is actively terrible. Okay, getting rid of that crown immediately. I don't mind them doing damage to me if I'm caught in the radius, but them actually actively seeking me out seems uh, not ideal. When they do work, though. When they, when they do work, they do work. But I'm going to want to be changing that over whenever I can. Okay. Let's have a look. Enemies explode into rad bullets uh, depending on the amount of rads they drop. Also works on other rad drops. Interesting. Portals appear earlier. That's always good. Increase radiation value. Okay, now nah, that's fine. Uh, Herming beam. Beam goes through walls. Beam destroys projectiles better. I don't really use the beam that much. So. Choose an ultra mutation from another character. Doesn't include things you can't use, such as plant snare. Got offered patience with every choice. Okay. Why not try this out? Okay, we got... In every area a weapon mod spawns, a double weapon mod effectiveness, that's always nice. Significantly increased gold weapon reload speed, eh. All damage you deal to an enemy is increased depending on how close you are to the enemy. Damage buff is higher in inverted areas. Um, lightning and Kraken are mixed, occasionally producing Lightning Kraken. When using Lightning weapons, gain explosive ammo. When using Kra uh, Kraken, uh, gain energy ammo. That seems cool, considering we have an energy weapon, so I'm going to try it out. It's probably not the best Ultra out there, but I like the idea. Oh, dude, those ghosts need to go. They gats to go. Also, how did that dude not die then? Oh, dude. Don't die to this guy. That would be an absolute embarrassment. Oh, 
I want to go through to this area, but I know I'm going to die if I do. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm determined to do well this run. I like the way I just kind of pulse with stuff. That's nice. I'm just going to wait for these guys to come through the wall towards me because they seem pretty insistent on doing so. This thing doesn't do anywhere near as much damage as I'd have hoped, though. It's 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 pretty bad. I think I'm still using it wrong, though, I think is the problem. Railgun. Oh, wait, what? Why did I take so much damage then? Was that one of my little ghosty boys? <laughs> I, I like the railgun. Dude, these little ghost things are the fucking worst. I hate this crown so much. <laughs> This thing's awesome! I fucking love it! Oh my god, I love this thing so much. We got the big Kraken gun here, which could be interesting. I'm gonna try this out. I don't want to blow that up first before I kill myself. Dude, dude, the little goddamn ghosties are- Why do they hermit on me? That's not what the description said. They said they could hurt me. They didn't say they'd hurt me on me, unless I'd read it wrong, and maybe it did say that, and I just wasn't paying attention. In which case, I'm sorry, but still, I don't like it. Definitely gonna go back to my, my bullet weapon. I like it more. We're getting a lot more Kraken weapons dropping, which I think is on purpose. Okay. Just cease to exist, you stupid little thing. Right, get rid of that crown ASAP. That thing's awful, I hate it. Put shotgun on this bad boy. What, is this? what did it say when I did that? One second. Hit shots partially reload this gun. Oh, that's pretty cool. Don't know what happened to my audio then, it kind of bugged out. Right, get the hell this crown off of me. Give me my inverted crown back. I did not like that. Plasma, blood plasma rifle. Two energy weapons, bit too risky maybe. Still though, this thing's gonna absolutely demolish this boy, I think. First of all, we gotta Destroy these bad boys. Well, it destroys them in one hit, which is unexpected, but awesome. Okay, we are completely out of ammo now, so I'm basically screwed here. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We somehow survived. Double frost shotgun will take it. I love the noise this thing makes as well. Please die, thank you. That was scary for a minute there. Hello, good sir. I would like my extra gold gun, please. Unlock a secret ultra requirement. Is that like a hint? It's kind of an interesting idea. Okay. Not that I need it, but I, I like the idea behind that. Heal up a little bit. Grab one of those. And we go. Okay. Decent. Yeah, so obviously the, the laser gun isn't the best at fighting all of these guys. Did that say Gatling Micro Shotgun?
Did you say speaking my language or what? This thing's awesome. What we got here? Super Spiral Slash Shotgun. Pretty good too. Quadruple Machine Gun. Also pretty good. But I'm really happy with this shotgun thing right now. This thing's kind of amazing. Gotta remember I don't have plutonium hunger. That's like my biggest stopping point here. I don't know where the boss went. Boss, I have a really good weapon to kill you with. Please stay still. Where are you? Oh my god, this boss is the, the worst. The fucking worst. Also, where are all these fucking police coming from? Oh my god, they just keep infinitely spawning. Fucking die, shark boy. Oh my god. Stop spawning. My goodness, this has been a trial. Where's my thing? Where's my little... There it is. Right, not super confident in how this is going to go. My ammo is my main concern right now with the weapons I'm using. Dude, this shark is on fucking crack. How are you not dead, please? How did that shark not die? <laughs> How did the shark not die? Oh my goodness. Uh, what in the f- I tried to come get some extra stuff before I left. Why'd there have to be a billion enemies over here still? What's wrong with you, game? Give me a minute to breathe. This has been- Truly something else. Frost line, I'm taking it. I'm sorry, but the shotgun ain't doing it. Well then, okay, so. Eagle eyes. How come I only got one of those? To dying, take it away from me? Eagle eyes is good. That's good. Oh my god, this is insane! This railgun was real good until I needed ammo. And now it's trash. Get out of here, boy. I've never had, like, such crazy ammo concerns on loop before. Normally when you're on loop, there's just, like... A ridiculous abundance of ammo, but it's never giving me the right ammo that I need. And there's so many policemen. There's just so many goddamn police guys everywhere. Leave it alone. I don't have enough to fire my weapons. This has been fucking crazy. 
I've not liked it. I've been trying not to swear in this video because I've just been, basically my YouTube algorithm has been sucking recently, as in like, for some reason my videos have just been doing way worse than normal with no real explanation. Kinda sucks. So I've been thinking, oh maybe it's because I swear in my videos, maybe I'll try to stop swearing. This game said otherwise. This game said no, Tell. You shall swear. You shall swear a lot. <laughs> Let's do this, why not? I've not really got the weaponry for it, I'm not really leveled up for it, but... It's the ammo that's the concern though, isn't it? I never have enough ammo to do anything that I want to do. I mean, this is doing really well right now for us, I will say. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who on earth is that? Why? Oh man, I love this mod, but it makes no sense to me. I've never seen that enemy before. In this area specifically, I've never seen that enemy before. Why did he suddenly spawn? And why did he fire a thousand bullets? It seems like melee is like a hard requirement to get past loop one. Like, like I wouldn't say hard requirement. It is absolutely necessary. That or maybe a blood weapon. Because there's just too many projectiles. That guy is firing like a thousand projectiles. How is anyone meant to dodge any of that? Either way, ran over. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.